good. Shout out to E30 House for the fire snapback. Well, it's not really a snapback, but the hat is fire. So, today we are not wasting no time. It is currently the next day. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and see what's wrong with the 30. So, um, since you guys seen when we put it in gear, it's it started and it moved so there's nothing wrong with the clutch but definitely the master cylinder i believe the one that's behind the clutch is bad so um i actually looked it up it's kind of a common problem on these cars what i'm not gonna do is go half fast and only change the master cylinder we're gonna do the master and slave and the uh the line that connects them both so but it happened the phaeton Go to the auto parts store and uh, see you guys when we get there. Get in the zone. So the, uh, the auto zone that we just went to did not have it. And uh, we're going to the second location now that they referred us to. They said they have it, so see you guys when we get there. Spot number two. They just, um, they just left my dad in and uh, they didn't let me in because of uh, social distancing, so. He's gonna come out with the parts and we're gonna go home and see what's wrong with that car. All right guys, so we just picked up the master cylinder, but they didn't have the slave cylinder at the other auto zone. So now we're at another auto zone and we're about to pick up the uh, slave. So we are uh, auto zone junkies today. I'll see you guys when we get back to the crib. All right guys, we're back at the house now. 30's over here. We got the jack, about to go grab the tools, lift this bitch up, see what the hell went wrong. Alright guys, so the first thing we went ahead and did is take off the two plastic covers that's over here. The first one over here has three bolts one two three and then it has another four i believe down here and then you get to the master cylinder right here so uh just disconnected the master and um we're about to take it out see what's wrong with it okay everyone the uh the slave is out and it was leaking right there i don't know if the camera will pick it up it was leaking right there from this little i don't know what you call it little ball joint whatever but it's leaking right here the line seems in pretty good shape though except for the rusted out end bolts but this this itself is the one is the problem that's why i lost all pressure in my clutch when i would push it down no pressure okay guys little update old master cylinder is out this is the new one in comparison you guys can look I don't think this is the one that had the problem, but it's better to change everything at once since you're already here. So we're gonna get this new one installed and then the new, um, where is that? The new slave installed as well. All right guys, so it looks like we ran into a little problem. So whoever had this, uh, whoever did this before had this uh, bolt, this pressure line that's connected to the uh, hose. Where's the man? Where's the cylinder so I can show you guys? So basically, whoever uh, did this before basically bent this line. This goes here, right? So they bent this line in order for it to work. So there was no way to take this line out and unscrew it with without this breaking. So we're gonna have to go and see if we can find another one of these lines. Okay, so we couldn't find a flexible, you know, uh, gonna find a flexible rubber line so since this broke we ended up buying a full metal line so this is gonna actually work even better than this since it is fully metal and the pressure is always gonna be there instead of it expanding this rubber line and then building pressure so we should be good this is gonna be a nice install for you guys all right, new slave cylinder has the metal line in it already. Same fitting, everything is perfect. And this one feels a lot better. 
feels really good so got to get this installed with the uh, master get that brand new slave I'm about to put in the master everything in here looks good look at the sicky uh, steering column you are hitting uh right here hold up uh push it back a little bit pull it back a little more and try to come down now yes you you're clearing now okay now you're gonna put the other horse are you all the way in uh, that's what she said if you guys want your steering to increase to the next level, I'm talking about no play in your steering wheel, bro. You guys have to cop one of these. This this whole shaft right here is just, it works beautifully, bro. The sicky uh, steering column, and that's the Z3 rack. This goes from the steering uh, column to the rack. All right, guys, we got it all buttoned up. Take a close look. This line goes to the slave. This one goes all the way inside the cabin, connected to the clutch, that's the master. So that's how it looks. There's the slave right there. And that one goes to the master. Yep, we got a clutch again, baby. Woo! Yes, sir. She is all done. Got my Mickey D's. She drives great. Just took it out for a test drive. Everything's good. Goes into every gear perfectly. And the clutch finally feels like a clutch again, bro. Turns out that was the whole problem the whole time. That line was always loose and it was always leaking. And that stupid uh, slave cylinder, it always had a problem the whole time. So glad we got that fixed. And uh, yeah. Let me enjoy my smoothie. I'm out. See you in the next one.